Welcome to the Kip Craddock Morning Show Morning Newscast. We just gave you an update with the actual news, but now you get to know what's happening with Kelly Raspberry, Big Al Mac, Ana Castillejos, Nick Adams, Trey Peart, and part-time Justin. Over to you, Trey. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. A wasp is still considered to be at large within the control room studio. <laughs> I was attacked earlier. Uh, it was a full attack. Uh, I went at him with a broom, and uh, I got him a couple of times. Not sure exactly where he is, but in the meantime, <coughs> sadly, Dude Perfect was not filming yesterday when Trey Peart hit one of the hardest trick shots of all time. What? Just before going on an after-dinner walk, I asked my wife if she would like a piece of gum. When she wasn't looking, I fired it at her from about 40 feet away. I thought it was light and needed to put a little extra heat on it, and it went full strength, overhanded rocket throw, straight down the front of her shirt. <laughs> chew on that. Back to you, Jose. Chew on, chew on nice. that. <laughs> chew on that. I will chew on that. And here is Ana Castillejos. Thank you, Jose. Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, Prime. Long ago, the four streaming services lived in harmony, but then everything changed <laughs> when HBO Max attacked. Only Anna, master of all four streaming services, could stop them. But when her TV needed her most, she vanished. A whole month passed until Anna gave in to this new streaming service and finally decided to get HBO Max. And although her binging skills are great, she has a lot to watch before she could a two, you know? But I believe Anna can watch them all, specifically, maybe, all of Friends by the time we get to Trey's championship round. Back to you, Jose. Oh. Thank you. Y'all, she did that. That's that's the theme for Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she did the whole thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was genius, Anna. Love oh, it. thanks. <laughs> Over to you, Nick Adams. Thanks, Ross. The saying goes, a dog is a man's best friend. A local man tells us that last night at dinner, his lovable golden retriever named Samantha went sniffing around for pieces of food that his one-and-a-half-year-old daughter routinely throws on the floor. The dog laid down and took a nap while the family was eating dinner. The man tells us he started petting the dog with his hand and foot. He gave Samantha some nice belly rubs and scratches behind the ears. She was loving the attention and didn't move. When dinner was over, the man looked under the table and realized he had been petting a stuffed animal, one that his children must have placed under the table. The man felt stupid. Then he thought it was hilarious. Then he felt bad that he didn't know what his own dog feels like after eight years together. One thing is for sure, though. Sam is a great dog, and she got several extra boops on her nose after dinner. No. That's all for now. Back to you, Ross. Thank you, Nick. I'm Ross Geller today.